Hello my sexy muffins and welcome back to another video. In this video it is my backstory on my development of Dr. Wonderment from SCP Foundation and how I pieced him together. And this photo obviously isn't mine. I am sorry because I couldn't find the original creator. Disclaimer, this is not how all Dr. Wonderment is. It's at my version of him. So take this all with a grain of salt of not what Dr. Wonderment is like in the canon. But this might be my version in the multiverse because there's so many versions of them. So yeah, let's do this. So Dr. Wondertainment was born in the mid or early 1800s. We cannot pinpoint it down. He ended up finding a way to become immortal in his studies. But along the way of becoming immortal, he found a way to create new things through his discoveries. In these discoveries, he created many SCPs that it, some ended up on the foundation. Some are still running amok. But he made them all. He cannot be contained by the SCP Foundation due to the effects of his anomaly where he is able to escape with ease. So they've never been able to fully track him down and contain him. He is a fun-loving man and loves to create. He also loves a little bit of mischief. And in this mischief, he ends up creating more mischief is things but he doesn't really think of how it's going to affect the world he wants to make the world a more wonderful place such as is the imagination he had as a young boy he does not believe in the ordinary or the simple he loves things extraordinary wonderful and amazement where he got his name dr wondertainment as who he is that is who he is so now, as him, as the backstory of a Yandere, he has lived for a long time, so he has experienced a lot of loss. And in his grief, he has lost his mind a bit, just a bit, where when he finally meets that right person, whoever made it, baby, he would become obsessed with them and see them as the most wonderful thing and try everything to make them immortal like him so they can live together forever. Of course, he doesn't realize, think ahead of how this will affect this person. Again, it is he wants, he lives in the moment, lives in the now. He, of course, was in the 1800s, so early to mid 1800s. So he faced a lot of trouble with poverty and the slow advancement of technology and all that stuff that it came with the time period. He, of course, became a doctor legally. He is a doctor. He went to medical school for an engineering. He's done a lot of degrees over his time to understand more and more about the world. He's a th He thrives on knowledge, but also twists in the world into a wonderful version it could be. He does, he, as he does not think ahead, he can cause quite a few problems, but he doesn't realize it. Or he says that it was just a happy mistake and that they take out the positive things. His backstory, he was, he was starved, not as like physically starved, but he did not have enough money for food or such. So he would go days without meals or his mom didn't have enough money to feed him and he would work in the factories when he got of age to become a child to support himself through school. He did a lot of odd jobs to make ends meet. And when he finally did become an actor, he promised to never struggle like that again and find new ways to make people happy because he saw everyone around him suffering. And just the, that's just the bottom line. He wants to make everyone happy. And when it comes to his darling that he will meet one day, may it be a male, may it be a girl, may it be a non-binary pal, he will love them to the point of obsession and making them immortal like him because he cannot lose any more people when he's lost his family, his friends, his work partners, 
his co-workers. He's lost so many as he does not age. And he just wants someone to spend that won't disappear. Like everyone and everything else. Okay, I know that was a little scrambled. I just wanted to do it off the fly of what I've written down. I didn't want to read it off notes to sound sterile. I wanted to do it as jit energized as possible. So I hope that you all enjoyed. That's why I got so far. I might go into more details later on. If you want to hear more details, maybe have me do a on what pen do a story of like his origin story that I have for him. I might be able to do that and I might read it off here on YouTube if you, that is something you would like to see. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this and stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.